This is example eight in the differentiation topic. We're now looking at the quotient rule, having done the product rule. The quotient rule is basically a, 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 a different version of that, a reordered version of the same principle. Um, you might have seen the proof of that, but what we do have from the proof is a little rule or formula that we can apply. So we're going to have a look at this. First of all, we've got a function to differentiate, and this time there are uh, indeed two terms, as we did with the, the product rule, there are two distinct terms in x, but this time they're not multiplying together, one is dividing the other. So we've got a quotient, uh, the quotient is another name for the answer when you divide in a calculation. So we use the quotient rule. Uh, there's no, it's not defined as a function yet, so what I'll do is I'll just rewrite that as f of x, so we have a function, which is, of course, in this case, a rational function, x plus 1 over 2x cubed minus 3. Okay, in order to differentiate that, we're going to apply the quotient rule, which, if we're using it in terms of u and v, we'll start off the same as the product rule. It's u dash v, but this time it's minus u v dash divided by v squared. That's the rule that we're given, and we have to define what u and v are, and it is important in this case that u is always the numerator of the uh, fraction that we've got. So u is x plus 1, and v is 2x cubed minus 3. And other than that, we're doing the same process. We're differentiating each of the terms u and v, doing it carefully, and then we're substituting these terms back into the formula that we've already written down. So, oh, sorry, it should have been f dash x, isn't it? So, the der derivative f dash x or f prime x is stated by u dash, which is 1 multiplied by v, which is 2x cubed minus 3. So that's our first term. Subtract, and the second term is x plus 1 multiplied by v dash is 6x squared. And it's very important because there's a subtraction sign in the numerator that whatever gets written down after that has brackets in it because you will end up multiplying by negative 1. We have a, a denominator, of course, which is v squared. It's the original value of v2x cubed minus 3 all squared. Don't try to square out uh, that term at any point. It can be left uh, just like that in, a, in squared form. Uh, there's no need for you to try to simplify it by, if you would call it that, by squaring out that bracket. We're more interested in what's going on in the numerator. So we've got 2x cubed minus 3 minus, well, what have we got uh, by multiplying these two terms together? Uh, we've got x multiplied by 6x squared is 6x cubed. And then we've got positive 1 multiplied by 6x squared is 6x squared all over. 2x cubed minus 3 squared. And the last thing to do would be to multiply out the bracket, which is negative 1 multiplied by everything there. So we've got minus 6x cubed minus 6x squared all over that. It's helpful if you use a ruler. Uh, to do these because our fractions can actually get very uh, long and if you try and do it by hand all the time it kind of looks a bit messy. So we've nearly got our solution. Uh, that's where we're at with our numerator and it's just about simplifying that as far as it can go just in, in descending uh, values of x. So what have we got? We've got an x cubed, x squared, we've got 2x cubed terms actually. So we've got 2x cubed minus 6x cubed is negative 4 
x cubed minus 6x squared minus 3 all over 2x cubed minus 3 squared. That's our uh, derivative, of course, we are differentiating, so let's make sure we're aware of that. That would be fine as a solution. We've simplified the numerator. Uh, we could actually make it, if it were me, I would take a common factor of negative 1 in the numerator and just make the, the fraction negative 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3 all over 3x cubed minus 3 all squared and because the, we don't need to put a bracket around that numerator because that the fraction has become negative it implies that if you were to uh, multiply that negative uh, sign in all the terms would become negative on the numerator so either of those forms would be absolutely fine so that's the quotient rule and uh, nice lots of nice straight lines please on your uh, fractions use a ruler don't just uh, draw a wiggly line with your pencil.